Welcome back for another installment. This is 2.5, graphing linear inequalities and systems of linear inequalities. So in our first example, it says graph the, linear, uh, the line of negative 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 4, and then answer whether it is shaded above or below. And they gave you a hint, says make sure to extend the line all the way from one side of the graph to the other. That's when you're inputting it in the IMATHAS system. So first thing, we are taking our equation, which is negative 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 4, and we're just solving it for y equals mx plus b. So we're going to go into the y equals mx plus b form. I'm going to add 3x over. So we get 2y is less than or equal to 3x plus 4. Divide everything by 2. So we get y is less than or equal to 3 halves x plus 2. So we're referring to the y equals mx plus b. 3 halves happens to be our m value. So our slope, which is 3 over 2, means we are going to rise 3, run 2. Our b value is positive 2, so it means we start at 0, 2. The other things you need to look into is that this says less than or equal to. So if we have a less than, equal to, or greater than, equal to, you're going to use a solid line. If it's just a less than or greater than, you are going to use a dashed line. So we're going to graph this first by hand, and then I will show you how to put it in the graphing calculator to match it. So first thing we're going to start is at 0, 2. So I'm going to go on my origin, origin point, and then I went up to the 2 since we're in units of 2. Now, since we're in increments of two units, it's saying we're going up three over two. So I'm only gonna go up, here's one, two leaps, a third leap. So you're going halfway between four and six, and then going to the right two units. So you have your line there, and then we are gonna sketch our graph line. And because we are less than or equal to, which means we are gonna have a solid line going through those, so you are just extending it all the way to the end. Now, if that's that part, the problem it comes into is now the shading portion. Do we shade above the line or below the line? Okay, so in order to do that, you look at your graph line. When it does not cross the origin, which is zero, zero, so since it did not go through the origin, you are going to test that point. So you take your original equation that's right here, the one that we solved. y less than or equal to 3 halves x plus 2 and substitute in 0, 0. So 0 less than or equal to 3 halves times 0 plus 2. Well, this is still 0. 3 halves times 0 is still 0 plus 2. So is 0 smaller than or equal to 2? Well, that is a... Yes, because that's a true statement. So now you need to figure out which way you're shading. Since the zero, zero is below the line, your graph is gonna shade down. How do you do this in the graphing calculator? So you go into your graphing calculator, go to the y equals, um, clear out your equation, if you have any equations in there. Now, because we are the symbols less than and greater than, you're going to arrow over first until you get to the blinking line over here. Notice it's a line format. You're going to hit the enter key once, makes it thick. Hit enter key again a third, second time. Now it's saying it is greater than. When it's eating this, that means it's greater than or equal to. Or it could just be greater than. Hit it again, so you're looking like an L. So you need to look like a triangle, right triangle, right side up. That is the symbol we want. You're gonna arrow back over. You're gonna type in your equation, so parentheses. Three divided by two, close it. Hit your X key, plus sign, two, and then hit graph. So now you see that the equation is matched to what we graphed here. Okay, moving on to the next equation. And the next one, it's not one equation, it's multiple equations. So they want us to match our equation to the correct graph. 
So you're going to be given a whole slew of equations. And they want you to match it to the right graph. So first thing, notice that these say x is greater than or equal to, x is greater than, so they're not in the format of y equals mx plus b, but it says select the correct equations. So first thing we're going to do is rewrite this to say I want the y on this side. So since I'm going to do a mirror image, so I'm going to write y minus 2. Notice that the arrow tip is pointing to the y, so arrow tip is now still pointing to the side that the y is on. Have x. Add 2 over to become y less than or equal to x plus 2. Second equation, same thing. Do a mirror image, so we see y plus 2. The arrow tip is still pointing to the y, still pointing to the y, x there. We subtract the 2 over, and now we're becoming y less than or equal to x minus 2. And there's a method for this so that we can figure out which ones we're keeping, which ones we're not. The next one, it's already in, it's in standard form. So what we're going to do is subtract the x over. So we become 2y less than or equal to negative x plus 1. Then divide everything by 2. So we become y less than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 1 half. The next one, subtract the 2x over. So we have y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 1. The next equation, it's already in y equals, it's y greater than or equal to x minus 2. The next one, subtract the 2x over. So we see y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 1. And then the last one is already in the format of y less than or equal to x plus 2. Now if you notice that, a and G match each other when we did the math. So now here's how we need to figure out which ones match our equations. Let's eliminate some options. This one graph starts at negative 2. So the, y, the B value is negative 2. B is equal to negative 2. Here a B is equal to negative 2. And here a B is equal to positive 1. So we have, we can eliminate c because it's a b value of one half we can eliminate g because the b value is positive two which means we can also eliminate a because it's a positive two it's leaving us with b d e and f to match so when we look at b if we plug in zero zero because notice that none of these went through the origin. We plug in 0, 0. This says 0 is less than or equal to 0 minus 2. So 0 is smaller than or equal to negative 2. 0 cannot be smaller than negative 2. This is a false statement. Which means if we see the graph, here's negative 2. It rose up 1 over 1. Origin is here. It does not work. Which means I shade down. Here's this one. Start at negative 2, went up 1 over 1. 0 didn't work. I shaded down. So right now, this graph looks like B. You go to the D one. It starts at positive 1. Okay, it goes down 2 units. 1, 2 over 1. Okay, it matches that graph. So when you plug in 0, 0, 0, less than or equal to 0 plus 1, is 0 smaller than 1? Well, that's... Yes, that's a true statement. Here, zero is below the line, but it worked. So I should be shading down. This one's saying I shaded up. So D is not my equation. On E, it says negative 2. So we started at negative 2. We went up 1 over 1. 0 bigger than or equal to negative 2. That is a yes. It does work. Now, because 0 worked, we should be shading up. Doesn't happen here, but if I look here, I shaded up. So this is looking like graph E. You go to F. 0 is bigger than or equal to 
zero plus one. Zero is bigger than or equal to one. That is a false statement. So I'm going back to my equation that started at one. We said zero did not work. Z when we plugged in zero, it did not work, which was false. So we shaded up. So this graph is your F. We're gonna move on to our next example. On this example, they gave you a graph, and now notice that there's two equations graphed, there's two graph lines, so there's two equations graphed at the same time, and they want you to pick the two inequalities whose intersection is the shaded region. So first thing we wanna do is start figure out where each one starts at. So we're gonna rewrite these for y equals mx plus b. This is already in y equals mx plus b. The second one, all we're doing is doing a mirror image so we can see it. It's y, you are eating, so the alligator mouth is eating the y again, and now we see negative 1x plus 2. Again, mirror image, y. Now the arrow tip is pointing to the y, so pointing. And now we have positive 1x minus 1. And then the third one, the last one, we're going to subtract the 3x over. So we have 2y greater than or equal to negative 3x. Divide both sides by 2. So I get y is greater than or equal to negative 3 halves x. And I'm going to put plus 0 because there is no b value. So it's telling you it's starting at the origin. Now, since this one is starting at the origin, it can be eliminated because none of our graphs start at the origin. Now, this one says it's starting at positive 2. Here's a y-intercept of positive 2. It works. This one's starting at negative 1. There's a negative one starting point, that one works. This one's starting at negative three, there is no negative three, that's eliminated. So those two are your equations without having to graph anything. Moving on to the next example, here we go. It says to graph the following system of inequalities using a graphing calculator to answer the questions below. So they gave us our first graph and our second graph. So before we even graph it, and plug into the calculator, we can determine answers questions one and two. It's saying, is inequality number one created by a dollar or solid line? Remember, if it is less than equal to or greater than equal to, that is a solid. If it's less than or greater than that is a dotted or dashed. So in equality one, there is a line. So it means we are the solid line on the drop down window. Equality two has no line. So it means we are a dotted line on your drop down window. So we are going to graph both equations. So you're going to turn on your calculator, go to the y equals and hit clear. Okay, so on this one, remember you're going to arrow back and you want the, hit enter, enter until you get to the thick one. So it looks like a 90 degree angle. Arrow back over. And then you're going to type in 2x plus 4. Hit enter to go down line. The next line, again, it's the same way. It's pointing the same direction. So enter, enter, enter down. So we're both pointing the same direction. And then we're going to arrow back over and then put parentheses, negative 2 divided by 3, close it, x. Because there is no y intercept, it automatically knows that it's starting at the origin. Hit enter, and then we're going to hit graph. So what's going to happen is you're going to see two graph lines crossing and overlapping. Now it wants its point of intersection. So on this question it says, what is the point of intersection with inequalities? Enter your answer in the form of an x, y. So remember, just to find your points of intersection, in the graphing calculator, you're going to hit the second key, hit trace, and you're going down into number five. You can either hit five or arrow down to five. So I'm going to arrow down to five and hit enter for intersection. That gives you your first curve. Hit enter again. That's gonna give you your second curve. Hit enter again. That gives you the guess situation. Hit it a third time and you get the word intersection. It says X is at negative 1.5, Y is at one. So negative 1.5 and positive one. That is your point of intersection. The last question says, what is the solution of the inequalities where is the solution of the inequality shaded? So is it above it, right, to the left, to the right, no shading and below? Well, when our point of intersection, see how it's a darker grid here? Because it's here, it is going to be below. That is our point of intersection. 
our solutions. Any point in this shaded region down here will make our equation true.